Welcome. In this video, we will discuss about the I to C problem, communication problem, and their solution. So mainly we will discuss two problem. One, the voltage level problem. Here you can see sometimes we can receive the pulse like this, that may cause the I to C communication failure. Another figure you can see here the levels are not as we want. And the third figure, okay. So. And the second problem we will discuss about sometimes we receive the short pulse during the on the data line like this here you can see the, the pulse is very short mm -hmm. so okay we can start from the first one the voltage level issue uh, why this issue occurs in i2c communication uh, for example if we go here we have the master and multiple slaves here so in ideal case there should not be the voltage level issue but sometimes some people they use like uh, for example if I say like uh, they use some resistor here here with the between near to the slave or masters if you use this resistors normally what happened here we have the pull up resistors it may be 5 volt 3.3 or 1.8 so that is not the problem any voltage you can consider so if we add some resistor here some people they use 100 ohm 200 ohm some resistance when slave pull down this line the some voltage drop across this resistor when some voltage drop across this resistor so the master or other slave all other devices they cannot get the zero voltage level they can get the voltage drop across this resistor so to solve this problem what we have to do we need to check is there any resistor in series with the i2c on the any slave device or any master if there is some resistor we need to remove or we need to reduce the value to make the i2c communication work normally so if you don't have resistors so and they this problem can be caused by the some PCB design issue so you need to check there should not be any resistance on I to C trace or something so that was all about this problem the main problem is that there is some resistance on your I to C trace that caused this problem okay let's go for the second issue second sometime if you see the waveform on oscilloscope you will find this small pulse so here you can see the second image and i put few images you also can see the pulse like this so in fact this is not a real problem so but you need to understand why this sharp pulse happens so if you know the i2c communication protocol i'm not here in this video going to explain the protocol but i give you the short introduction here you can see once the start of the communication is the clock should be high and data goes low so this means the communication is start this is the i2c communication start protocol and after that you have the 8-bit address of uh, any device then you have the acknowledge bit so totally you have 9-bit after 9-bit so uh, the device may transfer the control to the other device uh, if on the i2c you have the masters and multiple slaves for example slave is sending or master is sending some address or some data you can see bit one two three four five six seven eight and of eight is the some address bit nine is mostly the normally used for the acknowledge or read write bit and then after that for example one device is communicating it's mean all other devices they are on standby mode and that one device that pulled down the data what happened after 9 bit when for example one slave he leave the i2c data and data line means he stop pull down and then transfer to the other device so during this transfer time we receive this short pulse so this pulse you need to make sure uh, should have when the clock is down you can see here at this time the clock is down so if you receive this short pulse during the clock downtime it's mean 
uh, this is normal so this is not the issue so here you also can see one two three four five six seven eight nine after nine o'clock when the clock is down then on the data line you receive the short pulse so if you find like this so you don't need to be worried about this this is the normal communication uh, protocol that was all about these two issues thanks for watching if you have any question you can add the comments